We learned, for example, from the Meth Strike Force report card data that in 2020, there were 722 meth-related deaths, 176 more than in 2019, a 32% increase from one year to the next. Methamphetamine use disorder may be one of the most damaging and difficult to treat forms of addiction. There's no easy solution. For law enforcement, one of the reasons we focus on methamphetamine is that it is the drug most linked to violent crime. If you can picture this, 56% of persons that are booked in jail for any crime from murder, child molestation, domestic violence, robbery, any kind of crime, 56% have methamphetamine in their system. We need no further proof than this year's Meth Strike Force report card that shows border meth seizures are up 23% over the previous year. The San Diego border is a hot spot for meth seizures. Over the last year, we've seen increasing numbers of deaths um, caused by the toxic effects of um, most commonly illegally uh, obtained fentanyl and methamphetamine, or both. We see these deaths so commonly that now in our, our daily reports, the descriptions of the circumstances of the people that die are so common that we can almost guess the autopsy findings and toxicology results before we do the autopsies. The fentanyl-related deaths rose more than 200% in 2020, from 151 to 462. And what we saw last year was an opioid epidemic colliding with a pandemic, which was a recipe for disaster for people with a lot of time on their hands, and then you have the availability of these drugs.